Well, basically, that tells us we got skunks. Yeah, I'm not even sure he comes every night, but. Kind of looks like he's been pawing at the grass a little bit. I don't know he's trying to Yeah, I don't see where he's working in front. Them holes back here are easier for him. So, I'm doing it on a weekend because I don't want to catch him on a work night and have to go to work. Because that's just not humane to leave it back here and trap all day. Right. Because once the sun comes out, they're going to sting it and it's going to be in the sun. So we got to be able to take care of it early in the morning. first because if I just put the trap on the ground and catch a skunk it can get its paws through them through the screen you know and it'll dig dirt up into the trap make the trap real heavy we don't want that so we're gonna put this down put the trap on that so that when he gets caught he can't dig it anyway And I left myself enough room there too between the trap and the hive to be able to throw a sheet over this trap after I catch him. The trap's pretty stable, he won't be afraid of doing that. So then we just set our trap. We're just going to use marshmallows for bait because they like marshmallows. Throw a couple way in the back. Put one out here to give him a taste of it so he knows he wants it. And throw another one in there. And that's all there is to that setting part. So when we catch them is the harder part. But it's not that hard. We just want to make sure that if I don't catch them tonight where I can deal with them in the morning, then I can't try again on a work night until I get a day off. Right. Because I don't want them to be, to be back here like that. Okay. So that's that till we catch them. everyone the rain made it really hard to hear the second half of the video the audio for it so essentially all he's saying is you need a large light colored sheet and you need to move slowly for this to work doesn't even have to tail up. Now he won't spray. <laughs> 